so um, so that's good. So what we're going to do today is make Shea Becky paper chains and um, we used to make, I think my mum used to try and occupy three really excited children at Christmas time and she used to make, we used to make miles and miles and miles of paper chains so in the Facebook group, uh, I don't know if you've found it, let me know if you haven't found it, I have got these printables, you can just print these out and you can make paper chains, oh sorry the light, can't see, so there we go, so I've got my two Christmas pa patterns and the red pattern, so it's just a matter of cutting them out and then using a bit of print stick, a bit of glue or a bit of double sided and making the chains. And what I think is really nice is when you see the chains hanging down. I mean, we always used to, um, you know, hang them like this, which is still really pretty. And uh, but you could ha you can hang them down. You can, I can't see you very. Hang them down. And if you have a few strings hanging down in the window, I think it looks really nice. And what you can do is like on this one, I've done three of one pattern. Well, there's a, yeah, three of the next pattern, you know, three of the next pattern. But it might be quite nice if you had all red and then all the Christmas puddings, then all red and then all the Christmas robins. And you can really play around with it. You could do, you know, two, two or one, three, one, three. That might be quite a nice combination. Don't have to just do alternate. And you can also, um, you know, add in your own. So, I mean, this is what they're like when they're cut. So, um, they are three centimeters. I can't remember how much, how big I made them by twenty-three centimeters. So you can cut again. It's like with the advent calendars. You could cut the brown brown craft ones, and you could put the little little snow dots all over them or do some potato printing and do the little stars like we did with the wrapping paper I mean that would be super cute wouldn't it that would look really really nice um, and so then once you've cut them out I mean what you could do also do if you wanted to is you could do them double-sided if you've got I don't know if you have spray mount it's not very good for you for your lungs to breathe it in but if you spray mounted two together and then when you stuck them together you'd get uh, you know pa the pattern on both sides that actually I hadn't thought about that that actually might be quite nice oh so what we can do is we can try that out um, we can try it out now so I've got my cutting mat over here so I will just move you down so hopefully you can see what I am up to today so here we go so I'm going to put the ones I've already oh there they are the ones I've already cut just to um, one side and then I actually really like the idea of doing the double sided so if we cut with our craft knife and again if you hold the metal ruler over the paper chain then if it goes wrong it goes into the um, excess and it you know it doesn't matter um, so let's cut these these out haven't printed so well um, I think maybe my printer needs some more ink so there we are and then again covering the bit that we want to keep nice with the metal ruler. You don't have to have a metal ruler, but it gives you a nice edge. Um, if you use a craft knife, I mean, you can use scissors. I just find it quicker 
to run along with a, a um, metal ruler and a scalpel. Um, you want to always make sure you have a nice sharp blade and a good cutting mat um yes yeah, so if you use a plastic ruler um you, you'll get notches in it and it, you won't get a nice such a nice straight edge so i'm going to do the i'm going to try out my new idea of doing them double-sided paper chains and i'm going to see if i can do it <laughs> i'm going to experiment with you so um, I think we could put love, obviously, as you know, I love my double sided tape because it's just, I just get too messy with glue. I mean, you can easily do this with glue, obviously, and especially something like Pritt stick. Um, you know, that would work really, really well. So, um, we put a bit um obviously with double sided you've got less you know you can't really move it once you've placed it down so let's see if we line up the those there and then hopefully that will just oh yes look at that there we go and then um then we can just do that can't we <laughs> oh yes so then just take a little bit of tape I've lost my lost my end stick it at, right at the end one of the ends it's really good to have a bin nearby and then just again marry up the ends like that with your sticky tape super there we go and there we've got the first ring and I have to say I really like the double-sided look so I'm going to carry on and then I guess so what we could play around with is maybe we don't want the same both sides maybe we could have different on that is um, on each side that might be quite nice it's just a matter of playing around with it and you know there's the lovely thing about doing this this sort of thing is there's no oh good morning a merry morning jill thank you for joining me i was so engrossed in all my cutting out that i am um, i hadn't seen thank you for joining me how are you jill how are you feeling are you ready for christmas i was just saying earlier how i am so ready for a break um I had my last day at my paid job on Thursday and um, yeah I'm getting that winding down for Christmas feeling so it's really lovely just to be doing some nice crafty things this morning so look now we have double and you so we can either do it that way round or that way round I mean this is just loving this so I hope you are too <laughs> oh this is just what I need this morning and so I'm going to make it the inside the the red <laughs> you're pickling red cabbage oh I love red cabbage Jill love red cabbage this is one thing I need to do. I want to do today is sort out all of our Christmas eating because I haven't. <laughs> I haven't fully decided what we're going to be eating over Christmas. And for me, the eating. Oh look now, look! I've gone and just sealed it up, and I'm I'm not concentrating now. I've gone off on to uh, what am I going to be eating for Christmas? Um. So what we can do is we can obviously join those together with another one if I concentrate properly. Um, right, concentrate back. Yes, yeah, so that's what I want to do today is I want to think about all the lovely things that we can eat over the next few days. So I have my obviously my Christmas day or well, not obviously, but I do have Christmas day sorted because 
you know I'm very traditional and I love having I've ordered my little turkey prepared turkey so it's you know there's only two of us so we don't want a massive one and so I know what's happening. Oh, and I've made my Christmas pudding. Oh, so I was, I'm going to experiment. I made too much Christmas pudding mixture for my bowl. So I'm going to see if I can turn the extra Christmas pudding mixture into mincemeat because it's basically the same ingredients. Um, I think it's maybe just adding a bit more apple and some more nuts and um, yeah so that's what I'm going to be experimenting with um so yeah just really lining up carefully because obviously with the double-sided you don't sort of have a second chance so there we go and then so making sure uh, maybe we'll have the red on the outside this time so if I take a, the little stick here and then can you to check so then making <laughs> making sure I remember this time to loop the two together and uh, yes so what are your favorite things to eat Jill because um, I'm wondering you know what should we have on Christmas Eve what shall we have to eat on Boxing Day yeah I'm just gonna go I think I'm gonna sit and go through my cookery books and um, see what recipes kind of jump out at me because the lovely thing is that I've got time I've got time to do oh one year I made um because when it is just the two of us my other half doesn't particularly like Christmas pudding but I still make one because I love Christmas pudding so um Eating a whole Christmas pudding myself is actually quite a lot, even if I say so myself. And so I found that jell has got this lovely recipe that you can add in, um, have leftover Christmas pudding and then add chocolate, melted chocolate, and then you make them into like little truffle shaped size and then put little, make them into mini Christmas puddings with lots of chocolate in and, and you know you can't go wrong with that and then you put a little bit of white chocolate on the top and they look like little mini christmas puddings so um yes oh, so much fun to be had so um so here we are so it, they are quite thick when you do them double but i do think that they look nice they can do you know, it is quite nice because when you do them singly there is quite a lot of white showing I don't know you have to tell me which you prefer so there we are make a Christmas puddingy one and then you can just have them linked randomly or you can make patterns with them or you can really go to town and loop loops and we used to have them hanging all around our kitchen dining room if you have um if you have them sort of hanging like this and then you can have another loop coming down kind of and then you know make a big sort of chandelier -y kind of effect so i think i want the oh this i've done double-sided christmas puddings on this one so so there we are so that is how you make your own paper chains i mean it couldn't be easier so the printable is um, in the group. Um, if you can't find it, just um, let me know. Just write, you know, write a message. We're having your oh, Jill, hi. So you're having your Christmas dinner tomorrow. You're staying in a windmill over Christmas. How amazing! Oh, that just sounds absolutely divine, Jill, because do you know I love Christmassy um like picnic food because then I think you can have lots of little tasty things and lots of different flavours. I love the sound of that. Going <laughs> go oh, that sounds fabulous. Um so that yes, I am definitely going to go and have a look through my my Christmas books and yes, I have I have 
booked my slot to go shopping in Waitrose so that's when I go round and I pick up all those lovely cheeses and cold meats and you can just have lovely things to eat in the fridge and olives and oh, oh I'm getting hungry talking about it Jill I have to say Jill that just sounds oh wow yes exactly yes Gravelax oh yes although I have to say we're not really allowed to eat salmon in my house because my other half is a very keen salmon fisher, fisherman and so if he sees a salmon on a plate he just thinks it should be left in the river so he can catch it so um, you know what I do is uh, whenever I go out um, although obviously I'm not doing that at the moment <laughs> and he's not around then um, I have my smoked because I do love smoked salmon and gravelax oh and hot chocolate with baileys oh my goodness me you are talking my language Jill that is just yes hot chocolate with baileys and do you know what is also really nice is um hot chocolate with um Grand Marnier, you know, because it's got that slightly orange feel to it. I first had that in on a skiing holiday in in Italy. Oh, and um, yes, so yeah, I love loving all your eating, Jill. Loving, loving, loving it. So, um, so yes, yeah, so there we have it. Um, that is that's it, really. Let me um, show you my face. So really, you know, a fun thing to do and to make your own paper chains and you don't have to make them double sided. These ones I didn't make double sided and you can have them hanging down or you can loop them up like this and they're there all to be printed out. So, um, Oh, I don't know what Strega is, Jill. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I might have to go and um, find that out because all of the other things you've said have sounded um, absolutely divine. So I think we have similar tastes. So, so I've, uh, I'm going to go and find out what that is and try it out. So thank you. It's lovely, lovely to have all um, these ideas. So um, that's it from me today. Um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely Christmas, whatever it brings for you. I hope you get a rest, uh, take a bit of time out. Oh, I know. Oh, I like Italian witches brew. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm all for a bit of witch's brew, definitely. Jill and Jill have a lovely, lovely Christmas. Um, obviously, next Saturday is Boxing Day, so um, you know, I may pop on just say hello. Um, thank you, Jill. Yes, and you too. Um, I may pop on and say hello, it's going to be probably more spontaneous, and then obviously, in the new year. Um, is it like the yes in the new year I'll start you know back with my um, my Saturday morning lives and I've got a lovely lovely theme for new year all about where our well-being and um, and I want to just share with you some of the things that I've learned especially over the last six months I've done a lot of work on myself and I want to share some of the tips and um, that I've come across and I think this new year for me it's an, all going to be about my new year's resolutions is going to be about what's the one thing I can do that I will commit to doing to for my own self-care so I feel good because then if I'm feeling okay everything else